Today, Bristol City take on Peterborough here at Ashton Gate as the Reds look to secure a place in the Championship for another season as they take on bottom of the league uh, posh. I'm, jo I'm joined pitch side here today pre-match um, with Janssen Derek. Janssen, you played for Bristol City between 1959 and 1971 Correct. as a striker. You're here today celebrating some of the players of the 60s. Um, your, your names will be on the, the screen at pre-match and you're also obviously getting some hospitality today as well. How good does it feel to obviously be back here today? You were at the High Performance Centre yesterday and obviously you're now pitch right here again. Today. I mean, the, um, the trip around the uh, High Performance Centre was fantastic. I mean, the uh, the, the kit they got there and the facilities are absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's lovely today to meet some of the lads that I, um, one, one particular day I haven't seen for 40 years. Yeah. So um, it's, it's lovely to, to make, it, make, you know, make that connection again. And you made over 250 appearances for Bristol City. I'm sure the pitch is a lot different now than it was when you played. Only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the pitch is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at it now and... Uh, um, it, it was a, a bit of a, a mud bath back in the 60s. Uh, no, no grass in the Gormhouse, uh, no grass in the middle of the park. Um, and the pitch is fantastic. Yeah, and um, you scored 30 goals for Bristol City. Yeah, 30 odd. Yeah. Um, obviously, the stadium was nothing like this no. when you played. How good did it feel to be back and obviously pitch like they're looking up at you know a 27,000 capacity stadium? Well, when I first came to City when I was 15 and I joined the ground staff, and our job was to sweep the steps, clean the dressing rooms, wash the kit, do everything like that. And on that far side where the dormant stand, there was a little wooden stand, um, a very small stand. And then the dormant stand obviously came after that. And obviously the, um, the William stand is gone now and the Lansdowne one, I mean, it, the ground is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And it's all primed up for Premiership football. Right? Yeah. Ho hopefully sooner rather than later. Today, Bristol City take on Peterborough there, bottom of the table. We're, we're just a few places above them. Do you think Bristol will be able to get the job done today? And I think I think today they should get the job done. Peterborough have, have had a bad season. Um, but, I mean, I, I haven't missed a game this season. And there has been some games where um, we've let it slip right to death. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping today that we'll get a cushion and, uh, and go on and, um, and win the game. And when watching it from the stands as obviously a fan, do you ever, do you, ever you know, want to be back on the pitch playing with... You know, some of the players that are, that are in the squad today. Yeah, I mean, there's some, um, I mean, there's some good young players coming through, um, which obviously is credit to the club. Um, their their youth system is is second to none, and um, there's four or five of them now knocking on the door to become permanent players. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think the future is rosy. And can I get a prediction for you today? As obviously a lifelong Bristol fan. Sorry. Can I get a prediction for you today? Three one. Three one. Three -one. Who's to the city. Score? Um, I would imagine um, Wyman have obviously get a yeah. couple. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, he's been quality. Thank you very much for speaking to me and no enjoy problem. the rest of your day. Thank you. We're just starting to get into this game. Peter oh. all over us the last 10-15 minutes and all over us. Gone close. Oh. Another corner. Oh, no. So 
no idea when the wheels got off, I don't see. Matty James on it this time.